we start with uh, Sefer Shmiras Lashon. <clears throat> and today's topic are uh, the men of trust. Hashem has commanded us to study Torah in every avail available moment. At, uh, at very least, uh, we, are also, uh, we are to set aside fixed time, uh, fixed, fixed portion of time each day for the study. So basically we have a law, uh, um, as, uh, as it says in Yichashu, I think, let's see here, no? so, uh, that we must study Torah day and night. So meaning what? Meaning uh, all available times. If not, if a person has to work, do other things, Right, so at least uh, sometime and sometime in the morning. So how much is some time? So I would say minimum an hour, depends on the person, two hours. Yeah. So whatever he can, uh, he can do, the more the better, of course. Okay, so let's see. At least fix time. And uh, fix time, I try to keep the schedule. <clears throat> um... We are also commanded to set aside portion of our uh, of our earnings for tzedakah, charity, and fulfill other mitzvahs which uh, ostensibly seem to deplete one's resources or to prevent him from adding to his income. Okay, so it's, it's very interesting. Let's read this uh, line and we're going to explain. Very interesting. We are also commanded to set aside portion of our earnings of tzedakah, charity, and fulfill other mitzvahs which ostensibly seem to deplete our resources or prevent them from adding to, uh, to, to, to our income. So what, what, uh, what he's saying is, um, <clears throat> so sometimes you, so you, a person is, um, um, have to do some mitzvahs, right? So he has to pray in the morning and that's why he cannot come early. Or he, he has to leave uh, early from work. I mean, not early, but do not stay over time because he has to go and study Torah or pray with a minion or study with his children and uh, many other things, right? <clears throat> so it looks like, or sometimes, for example, I have my students, uh, one, one guy, so he, he, he got a new job and he does not have a vacation day. So now he, like for, for holidays, so he had to take for Pesach, had to pay an uh, unpaid date. Day, days and basically for him it's uh, like uh, a lot of money right no, no, not to be paid for uh, what is it I don't know, six business days or whatever how many business days so, okay but uh, looks like or, or one person is give charity so the person does not have uh, a lot of money to begin with and now he has to give uh, let's say even 10 percent 15 percent so it's it's a lot so it looks like he's losing that's what it says right <clears throat> it looks like all this uh activities so it's a that depletes our income okay the evil inclination implies uh, inside the jew to be lax in uh, his absorbance of the mitzvahs by the way of simple argument what will you what <laughs> you will be left with um, in the end if you give away so much money uh, which you uh, which could be used over the uh, lucrative, uh, lucrative investments, right? So it's I said, look, why would they give this uh, this organization, this call? They could have work, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, they use uh, not useless, but uh, why, why should they they get so much money? Maybe the wife can work, maybe husband can work, maybe children can work, maybe cat can work. Like something like uh, why should I give them so much money? So that's how it's Kara comes to all of us, <clears throat> right? Or now is the most opportune time for the business trip. You might uh, never have an opportunity uh, like this one. So many, uh, uh, your studies will have to wait for another time. So basically, he has a uh, what is it? Um, set study with a group. Now and he he decided to go to, to vacation, and he tells uh, to a group, no, no, you you learn whatever you learn. I'm going to learn on my own while I'm on vacation. Guess what? Nobody ever learning on his vacation. I don't know, maybe some people do, but uh, people that, uh, okay, so most of the people don't, Let, let's put it this way, right? So because why it's a hara comes on vacation, you're tired, you're this, you're that, you just uh, got, got, uh, got off the, the flight, right? <clears throat> um, in this way, one feels compelled to give less charity, right? He wants to go to vacation, he goes to, 
wants to go to, to restaurants and stuff like that. So he will give less charity. Or to sacrifice his fixed learning session for the sake of the business opportunity for which one misses, missed. Okay. Right. So he would uh, he would uh, think that, no, no, everybody's staying overtime. I have to stay overtime. And, uh, and then he's going to, to, to miss down and increase the minion. He's going to lose uh, learning sessions. That's uh, how Itzahara comes to all of us. Uh, to counter this, David declared, uh, trust in Hashem, the Glim 37.3. Trust that he will surely grant whatever uh, has been de decreed for you, right? For you, what is good? Okay. So basically, sorry about that. So, so David said that now it says in clearly in Rosh Hashanah 17a, I think, B, when when uh, it, it, it is discusses uh, uh, for, for Nasa of the person. So I mean, uh, what Hashem promised you and and uh, just because you decided to do mitzvahs, he, he's not going to deliver on his promise. So that's what you, that's all you, you think about Hashem, that he's, he's like that. You, you're doing everything, whatever he said, and he's going to stab you in the back because of that, right? So that's, uh, of course, it's silly thoughts that the person have, right? Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> So one, one more time, trust that, that he, and Hashem, will surely grant you whatever has been decreed for you and do good um, through such trust, you will find yourself ready to carry out all of the good which Torah speaks for you. Okay, so I mean, uh, as our sages say, make yourself a vessel of, of the blessings, right? Uh, and uh, blessings are going to come. Talmud Yerushalmi, Sota 9, uh, 13, relates that the businessman and businessman was once studying Torah when some customers approached him, demanded that he show them the, his merchandise. The man replied, I will not uh, interrupt my fixed uh, study period. Uh, if this prof profit has been decreed for me, uh, then uh, inevitably I will, it will be mine. So basically don't learn uh, that uh, some people, uh, I mean, uh, not, not in my class, but uh, I saw in other people's classes, they, they answer the phone in the middle of the class. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is it? I mean, uh, you, 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 your, your emergency services, like, what are you, doctor? Okay, so they're going to call you in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour. Right? Everything can wait. That's, that's not smart. Okay, so continue.